Hey guys, this is Bob at Rebel Crusher. It is another beautiful Carolina day, uh, sun shining. Uh, today we're gonna be taking some questions. Uh, we're looking at your emails. You guys have some great questions and uh, relating to the Rebel Crusher, um, I'm gonna be taking a question today from, looks like Ed in Chicago. Uh, Ed's question is, can you explain why I would consider buying a machine instead of just renting a machine? Um, well, Ed, that's a, that's a great question, and we hear that you know, every day. Why, why should I buy a crusher, right? Or why should I buy any machine for that matter? And the simple answer is that rental is typically a short-term option, right? I mean, you know, if, you, if you think you're never going to crush again or you're never going to use the machine again, you know, why buy one? And you know, we'd be the first people to tell you that it doesn't make sense to buy something if it's just a one-time deal. Um, and you know, if you're going to you know, look at, let's say, a small job in downtown Chicago and, you know, and you're willing to spend, because most crushers will rent for, let's say, 25000 a month, uh, if, if the job justifies that, I'd say go ahead and, and, and rent it. You know, for that one job. If you're never going to crush again, you're never going to do any screening, then you know, I'd, I'd say rent, definitely. But if you're in the concrete business, let's say you're a demolition contractor, you know, I don't have a lot of information on you, I'm just looking at one question. But once I know your background, uh, you know, we're going to look at different things like, it, are, you, are you ever going to deal with concrete again? You get in concrete with rebar, you tear a building down, bricks, asphalt. Um, are you pulling up sidewalk, curb, gutter? I mean, are these products that you're handling all the time? If the answer is yes, then we definitely need to look at ownership. I mean, you'd save yourself thousands and thousands of dollars. I mean, it's kind of like the concept of, you know, leasing your car versus buying your car. Most people, you know, if you look at it over time, it's much more expensive to give the car back every three years. Same thing with your home, same concept. You don't typically rent your home, you know, you, you buy it. Um, so with the crusher, uh, it's a mathematical formula. We would look at the amount of usage you think you're going to do per year, per month. And then we just look at the exorbitant cost of renting. Crushers are some of the most expensive machines to rent. Uh, to, typically, you're making the dealer very wealthy and very happy by doing any kind of rental. Um, you can imagine 25000 a month. It adds up very quickly. Uh, most guys are getting into uh, a crusher, no, no matter what it is. I mean, the Rebel is definitely the best value that's out there. Uh, significantly less than 10000 a month if the average rent is 25,000 a month, you can see the justification for ownership. So hope that answers your question and you know, please keep them coming and do me a favor, call in and we'll have a salesperson you know, walk you through your particular situation to make sure we're answering that question properly. Thank you very much.